Euros is the ultimate decider of which country is the best at football. But there's one problem, it's not until 2024. So today we're going to be predicting with 100% accuracy who is going to win the Euros using FIFA imperialism. The rules are easy. These are the 26 European countries that you can play as in FIFA 23. I'll first spin this wheel to pick a country. So Italy. I will then spin this arrow to decide which direction they have to attack. So Italy would travel east in a straight line until they meet another country entered in the competition. Those two teams will then battle it out in a game and whoever wins will claim the other's land. We will be repeating this until one team controls the entire globe and predicts themselves as the winner of the Euros 2024. So pick your country as FIFA imperialism decides it all. Shout out to Pajdor for the video idea. So it's time for our first spin. Let's see who's going to be kicking off this Euros campaign. I'm excited to get started and it's going to be Croatia. Let's spin the arrow to see which direction they're going to be heading in. And they're going to be going ooh, that's southwest. And if we go in that direction, we can see that Croatia must face Italy first. And after only a few minutes, Croatia were going in. Oh, look at this Tiki Taka. Look at this Tiki Taka from Croatia. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh my goodness. Oh, that would have been a mental goal. But in the second half, one goal from Italy was enough to defeat them. Is Verratti going to put it in? Oh! And so the first bit of land was conquered. And the next few games, Northern Ireland lost to Republic, Poland devoured Finland, and Sweden became Norway. And look at that map so far. Poland and Norway are looking very menacing. And let's spin the wheel to see who's going to be our next competitor in this prediction competition. Is it going to be Germany? Yes, it is. Now let's see which way they're going to be attacking. They're a big country, so there's a lot of ways they could go. They're going to go east. And that had them facing the Czech Republic. And after one goal from Thomas Muller, that sent them home crying. But let's just spin this wheel and see who's going next. There's still lots of countries in this. It could be absolutely anyone. Oh, and it's going to be Scotland. And if they hit south, they're going to be playing England. So let's just see which direction they have to attack. Will it be England for their first match? It will. Come on, the three lions. That's beautiful play by Phil Foden. Can he get it in? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, he doesn't even need anyone. What a goal. I was not prepared for what was about to happen. Oh, Scotland just hit the bar. Oh, my gosh. Oh, is that Shea Adams from Southampton? He's just put one in. Scotland have just equalised with England. But the second half, Phil Foden saved the day and took Scotland's land. And what a game that was from England. I mean, that's going to be pretty difficult to follow up. But let's just see who's going to be going next. Oh, and it is going to be Iceland. Going southeast in a straight line, they meet Spain. And unsurprisingly, it doesn't go well for Iceland. And they lose their land. Sorry about that, Iceland. And our next match had Wales battling Northern Ireland. And this matchup is a little personal for me because I am Welsh. So if Wales go out here, I might actually cry. Oh, my God. Oh, he's through. He took the oh, that's Ramsey! Oh, and he's put it in for Joe Allen, and Joe Allen has put it away for a second one for Wales. <laughs> My boys have done it. They've taken Ireland off the map. But let's get this wheel spinning again. Oh, is that going to be Belgium? Yes, it is. Ooh, that's northeast. And after a fiercely even match, Netherlands went in Ooh, for the kill. That's offside. That's not offside. Cody Gakpo's put it in against Belgium, meaning a tidy takeover for the Netherlands. In the following games, France took Switzerland, Denmark lost to Norway, and Serbia take Hungary. And we're now down to the round of 16, so let's see who's going to be the next country to attack. Austria. Okay, interesting. But which way are they going to be attacking? Northwest. And after a two-punch knockout from Germany, Austria were history. And Romania fell to the same fate as they lost to Ukraine. But the next one was a biggie as Spain were facing Ronaldo United. And in this match, of course, we've got Ronaldo playing for Portugal, so it's going to be interesting to see what he's going to do and whether he'll avoid being eliminated. Oh, and that's Ronaldo with a beautiful bit of trickery with the ball. Is he going to shoot? Oh, Bruno Fernandes on the edge of the box. Is he going to... Oh, oh, he's skilled past ever. Oh, my goodness! Bruno Fernandes scored for Portugal! I don't believe what I've just seen. Ooh, but Spain are on the counter-attack here. Oh, no, that's Nuno Torres. Oh, he's put it away. This is a ridiculously tight game. Oh, oh Ronaldo is inside the box. Is he going to finish off for Portugal? Oh, my God, he has. Oh, there's only one minute of extra time. I think that it's going to be blown for full time here. And it has. It has ended 2-1. Let me know down in the comments if you think that this is going to happen in real life. There are not many teams left now. And we still have England big games to go. And I think they might be playing next because we've just got Wales. Let's spin this. England covers Wales at the moment. So I don't think that... Hang on. Oh, actually, if we follow the line through the land we've already got, we actually meet the land that Portugal took. Wales are already on the attack. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. This is very, very pressing play. And it didn't last very long as Portugal started hammering us with shots. And in the second half, this happened. Oh, God, Bruno Fernandes just put that in the box. Are you joking me? Who has given that penalty away? No! Please, no. Don't let Wales go out like this. Not to a penalty. It shouldn't be a penalty. Oh, my God. It was like one mile and a half. Come on, you've got two minutes of added time, lads. Do not lose the ball here. Oh, my God. You, what are you, you, uh! And, yeah, that didn't go the way I wanted it to, but Wales were out. And it was just as tense for Norway versus Germany as Sergio Nabry had been tasked with keeping Germany in. And if he missed, it would be Norway stealing their land. And that's it! Oh, my God, Germany are out! 
and all the way are through. So with nine nations remaining, the dominant competitors are already starting to show themselves on this map. So let's spin this wheel and see who's going to be the next to step up to the plate. Is it going to be Italy or it's going to be France? And which way are France going to charge? Is it going to be England up north? No, it's east. Which had them facing Norway? Let's see if having Holland on their side is enough to break France's defence. Oh, lovely Uber Meccano. You don't need anyone else. Look at that. Through to Mbappe. He got, he's got Giroud in the centre. Is he going to use him? He is. Is he going to shoot? Oh, that was the slowest power shot I've ever seen, but France have just gone up 1-0. And that was all it took from Mbappe FC to take Norway's land. And as Italy faced Serbia, it only took one well-struck shot from Immobile to knock Serbia out of the competition. And who are we going to get next? There's not many places left now. It's going to be very tight. Oh, and it's going to be Ukraine. Who are they going to be facing? That is the question. Is that Poland? This is a very important game because, of course, Poland have Lewandowski. And if they go out now, he's not going to be in the final. But in the 30th minute, this happened. Oh, 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 Ukraine have just got themselves a penalty. This could be monumental. Oh, the goalkeeper's dived the wrong way. Ukraine have put themselves 1-0 up against Poland. And in the second half, would Poland reply here? Oh, what a beautifully timed goal. That has leveled it between Poland and Ukraine. And in the 112th minute of extra time, the unbelievable happened. Are oh, Ukraine going to cross it into the centre? Yes, they get, yes, they are. Oh, my God. Oh, is that onside? He is. Ukraine are now leading against Poland. I think Lewandowski's had it. And with that victory, Ukraine wiped Poland off the map. And if we take a look at the map after those last couple of matches we can see that ukraine and france have massive portions of the map and then you've got little Aww. netherlands there just so cute just in the corner ah but let's spin that wheel and see who's gonna be going next and who is it gonna be let's spin the wheel and find out or oh, it is gonna be netherlands the smallest one on the map and which way are they gonna be charging oh oh ah, that's england it's coming oh it's coming Football's coming Oh, this is nerve-wracking this Come on, England There is everything to play for here So much land could be the reward of winning this game Get it through to Harry Kane Yes, shoot Oh, how has he saved that? Half-time, no goals We're being kept in suspense here Oh, that's beautiful He's onside Get it in, Harry Harry Kane Yes, you beautiful man If the ref can just blow the whistle anytime now Please, please, ref, blow the whistle Ref, blow the whistle No! And even after extra time, they couldn't be separated and it came down to penalties and then it came to sudden death. Okay, okay, oh, all right, that is it, that is it. If Pickford saves this, Netherlands are out and England have done it. Please, I can't watch, I can't watch. Pickford the goat! Yes! Come on, England! Come on, England! Woo! And with that dub, it meant that England could finally expand across water. But next, it was Clash of the Titans as Ronaldo meets Mbappe. And after a quick goal from Griezmann, France take the lead. But João Felix has a reply. Oh my god! Oh, they have equalised! João Felix was in the right place at the right time! And in the 80th minute, the deed was done. Beautiful touch. That's gonna... That's gonna put France back in the lead in the 81st minute! Oh! I don't know how I feel about this! It's the end of the two minutes of referee's ball! Meaning that Portugal were finito. Suey. And then with Ukraine losing to Italy and Italy losing to France, that only left England and France in the final. Who would try it from conquer Europe and predict themselves as the winner of the Euros? I'm excited to find out one year in advance. Get it back through to Foden, get it to Kane in the middle. Oh, have a shot if you can. Oh, what a save by Lloris. Oh, that's a bit... Oh my God! I was not expecting that to go in. That header was mental. But it's absolutely sensational as a goal for England. Come on! Oh, and it's 1-0 at half time very very scary stuff guys very scary what's sterling gonna do with that he's gonna cross it back in yes he is oh that was almost an absolutely sensational goal by kane oh god france have got a corner in the 90th minute i'm literally on the edge of my seat in fact no actually i'm on my seat i'm so nervous oh, oh no france have got it back in the box that's Griezmann. catch that pickford that could be it that's it! It's done! England have done it and England rule the entire world, which means that they're going to be the winner for the Euros 2024. Leave a comment down below if you agree with this and think it's going to happen or if you think that I'm full of crap. Either way, I hope you enjoyed and make sure you check out this video right here because it's amazing.